Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. Today's video is gonna be kind of a sporadic video where I'm gonna take you around and show you some of the animals and, and do some of my chores. But I'm also gonna put some random video that I've been shooting over the past few days in here as well. So if you see just an all of a sudden clip come in that doesn't make sense, that's probably what it is. But I have not shown y'all this. I've got two things I'm gonna show you today that I have not shown y'all. Been keeping it a secret, and I'm looking at 12 of them right now. Take a guess of what I'm about to show you. I'm gonna turn around and show you, but take a guess of what it is. You probably won't guess it, but I got 12 of them right now. They're babies. What are they? Baby what? All right, so yes, Millie had puppies. They're four weeks old, y'all, and I have not showed y'all. These things are a month old, and I have not shown you. I've been keeping it from you. Look at that, y'all. We were hoping she got, we found out she got pregnant. We were hoping she got pregnant by Silas, but she did not. She got pregnant by the neighbor's dog right over here. Uh, it's a Rottweiler. So these would be golden rots. That's what they call them. And that one right there is taking a poop. They're old enough now that we can put them out here on the grass for a while and don't have as much cleanup to do. And also Millie has kind of stopped. They're almost five weeks old, to be honest with you. Millie's kind of stopped feeding them as much. She does feed them some, but not as much as she used to. So we obviously, or Brendan and Rosa, obviously feed them three or four times a day, some what we call gruel. But look at them, y'all. They are little cuties. Look at this one. So all this little dirt looking stuff you see is their food. <laughs> they go through that food so fast that they just like roll around in it and fall in it and stuff. Like, look at this one's face. Hey, hey buddy, you got food all over you. Yes, you do. You're cute, you're a little cutie. Okay, so yeah, we got puppies. I'm gonna show you something else we got 20 of. And I'm actually gonna throw that video in right now because Tanya took care of them. Hey guys, it's Tanya. So I did a thing today. I went to Tractor Supply to get us some goat uh, medicine to warm the goats with. And the lady there said, um, we've got chickens cheap, baby chicks cheap. And I'm like, uh, how cheap? And she's like, we gotta get rid of them before inventory. And I said, okay. So I bought 20 baby chickens. So I'm going to put them in the duck thing here. Um, and then I'm gonna ask for uh, forgiveness from Mike later. So. You guys can watch me. Here we go. We're gonna start off with the um, tractor supply uh, pine shavings. Tractor supply pine shavings. All right, so got all my pine shavings down. Roosters want to know what I'm doing. I got 20 baby chicks, guys. <laughs> but I couldn't help it. They were 50 cents a piece, y'all. I, I couldn't help it. They were 50 cents each. What was I supposed to do? What kind are they? Uh, these are Rhode Island Reds, Cinnamon Queens, and then there's four little black chickens called, I've never heard of them before. Oh, I can't remember the name of them. I'll have to ask her again.
All right, y'all, so I got some chick starter feed here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. All right, y'all, so here's two feeders for the babies. Got two sick ones, it looks like here, maybe three. Let's see what happens. Hey, babies, get up. I got two feeders there and I'm getting ready to put a water right here on this brick here. Y'all are loud. Y'all just want to be heard. You just want to be heard. What's wrong? All right, guys. So I'm going to fill this up with water and then we'll get the water set down in there. So I'll be right back with you. All right, so I'm gonna introduce each one of these little babies to the water. I got them all set, set up. We're going to put the lid back on here and they'll be good to go. Now Michael gets to feed them. Just kidding. We'll come out and feed them every day. So they're already eating and drinking their water. It's eating over there. So yeah, Tanya bought chicks. She bought 20 chicks and that was about a week ago and we still have them. Uh, maybe about the end of this video, I'll go over there and see if I can show you some of those as well, if, if I have time. Uh, I'm gonna show you Coconut right now. So Coconut is still off on her own. We, we left her out still. You know what? I need to grab my chicken feed. I just, I just scooped out my chicken feed to feed all these chickens over here. I've already fed these chickens right here. I already took care of them. Uh, Brennan already fed the puppies. I want to grab these two uh, right here, these two, and take them to my chickens. I've got my roosters separate now. So they are in the barn. Ooh, that's kind of heavy. I can do it. Yep, I can do it. So, if y'all can see way out there in the distance, that is coconut. Okay, so I have put the roosters in the barn. So this is where I feed them at because here pretty soon I'm going to butcher them. I don't want to get them used to coming in here. So all I got to do is drop that down and they can't get back in the barn. And I just, I can just grab them from right here when I butcher them. But all these other ducks and chickens showed up thinking they're going to eat. Oh, really? Oh, look at you, girl. Woo! All right. You roosters aren't going to get as much food as you normally get because that hen spilt it. Okay, so I want to keep the, keep the roosters fed, obviously. 
I don't want to lose any of the roosters because I do want to either butcher them or I, we're actually considering taking them to a, a chicken sale and selling them. A buddy of ours thinks that we can get $20 for each of those chickens because American breast roosters make good guard roosters for your entire herd. All right, so here's a, uh, here's coconut. Let me turn you around and show you. She is skinny, but she is making a full recovery, y'all. I'm proud of her. Her bottle jaw is pretty much gone. She is looking really, really good. She's up and moving around constantly now. So we did try to put her back in with the rest of the goats today and they all picked on her and kind of beat her up a little bit. So we brought her back out. We're gonna leave her back out for probably another week or two, mainly so she can get her stamina back, her strength back. Cause even these little baby goats were picking on her and pushing her around and she just had no energy to kind of defend herself. So we pulled her back out. Okay, we're gonna feed these chickens. Hey, don't fly over. There you go. I did add water for them. Well, hello, you come see what I'm doing? You look good, coconut. Can I show them your bottle jaw? How it's gone, turn sideways. Let me get a profile pic right there. No, stay still. What are you doing? There you go. Well, that was short lived. Stay still, quit following me. There you go. Look at that y'all. Oh, she's gonna pee. That's perfect timing. Coconut, look at here. Look at that y'all, that looks good. Maybe a slight swelling, but nothing horrible. And I left this water running to fill up for the goats and it's overflowing. Sorry y'all, drink off the ground if you want. That's what you do in the wild. So we'll take a look at all these goats here too. Okay, yeah, you ducks stay in that water. Don't you be, that's one bad thing about having this open with ducks around. They get in that constantly and I have to clean it. I clean that thing every day. Hi girl, you're gonna become one of my friendly goats, aren't you? Huh, coconut, because I've taken care of you. She used to not let me pet her at all, y'all. Now she's so used to me bringing her, I bring her a bowl of water every day, four or five times a day, and it's got electrolytes in it and stuff, and we've been treating her with selenium and vitamin B, and y'all saw the, I, well, I don't know if y'all saw the ivermectin or not. She is due 10 days later for ivermectin, which is the 27th. So June 27th, she'll get more ivermectin, She's making a great recovery. We still only lost Crybaby, and then that original baby, probably a week before Crybaby. So two goats, so it's not horrible, but not great either at the same time. You can see they're, they're making a recovery. Uh, Cinnamon was one of my sick ones. And you can see she's still skinny, but she's making a full recovery. She's doing good. Oreo is almost fully recovered, because she was one of my sick ones too. And they're my old ones, you know, them two, bottle cap and then crybaby and crybaby passed away so my four old ones are, are recovering well she's doing good i know she looks skinny y'all but she's making a recovery i promise this is her baby from two years ago she did not have babies this year and she looks really good i wish that tail would curl up a little bit more you know they say to give copper bolus to your goats every six months i think i may have to do every three months or maybe every four months because I gave all these goats copper bolus within the last five months, probably, about four months ago. Well, right before their babies were born. So yeah, four months ago, maybe five months ago. And they're still, they're still, looks like they're still deficient in copper. So I may have to switch to every four months instead of six months. Chickens are doing good as well. I'm gonna turn the fence off and go in there and grab some eggs. I think I have four, you can see one on the side. I have four eggs in there. That's better than zero. I know I was getting zero for a while in there. So four is better than zero. So I'll take it. Okay. So now what I'm going to show you guys is a little bit of us just having some fun at the pool. We got everybody in the pool the other day, except for me. I didn't get in because I had to go to work. Um, but we all enjoyed the evening um, just swimming in the pool. The pool's still a little cloudy, but when we test it, it's testing good. We've taken it up to the Leslie's pool supply twice and it's tested good there as well. So the pool's doing good. It's just, I can't get rid of that cloudiness. Our water is so hard here and I actually feel it 
without it being treated and you know softened so that's probably why it's cloudy but i'm still treating it we'll see if i can get rid of it hey coconut hey come up here to the house and i'll get you some water okay come on well hopefully she'll meet me up here at the house okay so i would show you the goats the baby goats up there but they're all doing good um i probably will have to add water but I don't want this video to be too long and I know I have some clips in here that are, you know, that I have, I'm not recording now. I've recorded previously that are fairly lengthy. So, okay, I want to show you guys the pool stuff and come right back to you. Lincoln some strawberries. Rosa got Lincoln oh, some Rosa. strawberries. Oh, good job, Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> Meemaw's doing something with these guys. Yeah, what y'all doing? Yeah, it's fun to water. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's all here in the It's my fault. Do you know why? Why? Well, you're a girly girl, and I really thought that you would love that wand better than you would like the sparkly thing. So, it, Mima asked. And I don't want you to hold that in front of River High. Yeah, that's true. That might it might hurt his eyes. I, I not. So, I'm sorry. I made a, a bad choice. So, it wasn't Mima's fault, okay? Okay. I just thought you would like the pen. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Lincoln! Look at you! High five! I gotta do a real high! High five! Mommy, look at Awesome! Did you say thank you? Thank you. Rai Rai, how's the pool feel? Feels good. Brun, how's it feel? Good. Lincoln and River over there. You're already out? Yeah. Are you done? Yep. <laughs> Lincoln. Lincoln. What do you think? You like the water? Do you like the pool? Okay. No, not my shirt. River. River! Uh, there's a vacuum. It got a Papa's pool? Yeah. It's a Papa's water. Oh, it's Papa's? Yeah. Is it Nana's too? Okay. <laughs> it's Papa's water. Okay. Papa's water. Nobody even told him that. That's what he said. Papa's no. Papa's water. Hi. He's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Still kind of cloudy. I wish I could get rid of that. Yeah. Me and my dad. Not on the plane. So, hi, YouTube. Hi, Facebook. Facebook family. <laughs> Facebook family. River, are you having fun? Yeah. I'm a sea star. Hold on. Oh, no, stop. You're scared. All right, y'all. I didn't get to put a video out this past weekend. We've been very busy. We've got a lot of things being planned. You know what? I'm going to take you to the barn. See if I can show you these baby chicks real quick. So... Like I said, I have been busy lately. So I have been busy and I've just been busy at work, doing work stuff. Oh, let me show you a picture real quick. God, I've been squirreling a lot today. See if y'all recognize who this is. Okay, y'all, there they are. Cinnamon Queens, Rhode Island Reds. And I don't see any snakes, so that's a good thing. They're doing good. We haven't lost any yet, so been doing pretty good. I don't think we lost any. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, 
16, maybe we have lost some. So I don't know if that was 20 chicks. So Tanya's been taking care of them because I've been, she bought them on my work week. So I haven't been home a lot. And you, when I am home, I'm like this, I sleep and then I get up and get ready for work. So let me go ask her if we've lost any baby, baby chicks since she purchased them. So who do y'all think that was? Did y'all recognize him? A lot of people recognize him. And I didn't ask to take a picture with him. He asked if he could take a picture with me. It's kind of funny. Um, he's like, hey, you want a picture? Let's take a picture real quick. I was like, okay. Um, so if anybody at work is watching this, I did not ask for that picture. He wanted a picture. So you can't say no to someone like that. So yes, that's RFK Jr. political figure, uh, John F. Kennedy's uh, nephew, or what, I guess Robert or Bobby Kennedy's son. So pretty cool. I got to meet him. That was pretty cool. Okay. Tanya said we have not lost any of the baby chicks yet. She said, unless something's getting in there, taking them and getting out. So a snake, which I don't think so. All right, y'all. Silas, we were hoping these were your puppies. Gold and white would have been pretty cool. I think these are going to look pretty good too, though, especially like this brown goldish mix with the black. It's pretty cool. All right, if you guys are local and you need a puppy, let us know. I don't know if Brennan's selling these or what. I haven't even talked to him about it yet, but he's got 12 of them, so he's got to do something with them pretty darn quick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go down there and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. We'll see you guys on the next video. Remember, do the good. family Come along and ride with us Through this life journey we go through At the family